Hi. In this video, we will learn about the third relative measures of skewness in our list, that is Bowley's coefficient of skewness. In the last two videos, we discussed about the first one and the second one, that is beta and gamma coefficient of skewness and Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness. And we also learned why we are learning the relative measures of skewness because these absolute measures are not smart enough to differentiate between same amount of skewness that these absolute measures will give you a different meaning to those same amount of skewness. So let's proceed with the Bowley's coefficient of skewness. Bowley's coefficient of skewness S suffix k utilizes the concept of quartile. So q suffix 3 is a third quartile, q suffix 2 is a second quartile and this is the formula for a relative measure of skewness Bowley has suggested. And if you simplify this whole term, then it will go like this q suffix 3 minus 2 q suffix 2 plus q suffix 1 and on the lower side q suffix 3 minus q suffix 1. Now, for those who do not have a clear idea about the quartiles, I will give them a demonstration on the quartile. Here is a score and there are 11 scores and they are all ordered in ascending order. Okay. So, you take the whole range from this first one and the 11th one. And you find out the median and it is 53. So this position is called second quartile. It has another name q2 or q suffix 2. Also it has another name that is 50th percentile. Now you omit this and you take the range from this first one to this fifth one. And you find out the median from here and that is 31. So, this is the median and this median is called first quartile. It also has a name q1 or q suffix 1. It is also called sometimes lower quartile and it is also the 25th percentile. Now, for those who do not have a clear idea about percentile, I will tell you in brief. If you want to calculate the percentile for 53, then you have to count the numbers or the items below 53 and you count this 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, 5 items are there or 5 numbers are there that are below 53. Now, you have got 5 here and the whole range is having 11 members or 11 scores. So, you find out the percentage of 5 out of 11 and that will be the percentile of 53. Clear? The meaning is that 50% of all the members are below 53. That means it talks about some ranking. I will give you a detailed idea on percentile when you will deal with Kelly's coefficient of skewness because Kelly's coefficient of skewness, the fourth one, utilizes the concept of percentile, right? So we proceed. And in the other half, here are also 5 members. So, you take the median and this median is called third quartile. So, this one is a first quartile, the second quartile and the third quartile, right? So, it has also a name Q3 or Q suffix 3. It is also called upper quartile and it is also the 75th percentile, right? So, for our symmetrical distribution, this is suffix k, this formula will give you a 0 and that is our criteria for a good relative measure of skewness. If the mean is greater than mode, that means positively skewed, then the distribution will be looking something like this and in this case, this is suffix k will give you a positive magnitude. That means here also this measure conforms with our criteria that whenever you will have a positively skewed distribution and if your relative measure is a good one, 
then the magnitude given by that measure will also be positive. And when mean is less than mode, it is negatively skewed. And in this case also, this measure will give you a negative. That means in this case also, this measure is working properly, right? And regarding range, for a moderately skewed distribution, this measure will lie between minus 1 and plus 1. I hope it's clear to you the Bowley's coefficient of skewness. In the next video, we will discuss about Kelly's coefficient of skewness, which is the last relative measure of skewness we love.